Hello and welcome. I'm your Geek Eric. And today, today I have something special to share. This is my first, my first piece of the pie. I'm pretty late to this party, but just a few days ago, I went down to the local Best Buy and picked up my very first Raspberry Pi. And I got a couple of projects in mind, but before we get into that, I wanted to do a quick video just showing what came in the box. Just because other other people out there might be looking um, at picking one of these kits up. Um, a lot of people this time of year, <laughs> for uh, unbeknownst reasons, are stuck inside and told to stay in. So let's be good geeks and follow along, but let's also learn learn while we're indoors and I'm going to show you what comes in the Pi 4 Max kit from Kano Kit. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Um, first we have some instructions, some instructions of the pin layout. Um, this kit, as I've read, does come with a fan, which I was looking for because I, I, uh, I kind of want to do one of those laptop slash um, or like tablet tablet builds. So let's see, is this showing up right on camera? Okay, yeah. So we have a Type C power supply. Now on on previous editions of the Raspberry Pi, I believe you were able to. Um, run it on just kind of your normal cell phone uh, charger, but What's happening here is uh, it's pulling just a little bit more amps I believe and so they're suggesting you use a little bit more powerful uh, Charger, I'm not sure the exact um, amps. I do, I do believe it's a 5 watt uh, charger, but not sure the exact amperage um, this kit uh, does come with a 64 gigabyte SD card. It comes with two HDMI cables. Uh, I have I have two screens here, and even though I'm not going to run it like that, I I do want to kind of get a feel of what it would be like to do a uh, I don't know like can you replace your desktop kind of video? I know it won't for me. Um, but it would be cool. So the other reason why I picked this kit up is because I know I'm only going to use one of these uh, full time. My second camera here, it actually, uh, it could take one of these um, HDMI cables to uh, micro HDMI and output its, its feed uh, over to a capture card. And so I'll be able to capture two different angles at uh, hopefully high quality. So that's why I went ahead and got this one, even though I didn't really need the other cable. You can save about 20 bucks if you don't want the cable and you have your own uh, SD card. I think the $100 kit has a 32 gigabyte SD card and just one cable. I think that's the only difference, but I could be wrong. Another awesome thing is this kit comes with its own uh, power switch, and I believe you just you plug the power adapter in on this end, and then you plug this into the Raspberry Pi, and this will allow you to turn it off without running a command into the terminal, or uh, or clicking the shutdown button inside of uh, Raspbian. So here's the little man. I wonder what size what size of a fan this is. It's a little, it's a little void, but it's probably, I mean, it should be fine. I mean, I, I hear these things can run without the fan. Um, this kit does come with a white case, uh, but there's lots of other case options. You don't need to get this kit for that. I'm not even recommending other people should get this kit. A lot of the things that come in the kit, um, some of you might already have, but I didn't have some of these, some of these adapters, and I didn't have. The, the power cable and um, so it just worked out fine for me 
you're also getting the the four gigabyte model of the Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm hoping I'm gonna try to install a Godot on here and a couple other kind of bigger programs. Doing a little bit of research, it seems that uh, 2D games using Godot are are fine on uh, the Pi 4. So I'm gonna put that to the test. And then it seems like we have a starter guide that kind of just, let me see, kind of just walks you through it. Ooh, that's okay. This will be really fun to play with this GPIO. I've never, and I've, I've been programming for, I don't know, seven, eight years, and I've never done anything where my code affects. I might be using the wrong terms, but, but it's like physical hardware. Like it's all with it's all within the within its own program, and this is really cool. This is really gonna be really cool to try out. Well, this is a short video. Um, I hope to have a lot of follow ups with just different projects that I'm trying with this, but as as like a starting kit, it's got everything. And I believe from what I read, uh, the SD card that it comes with, it actually comes with Raspbian pre-installed. So if you're buying this as a gift for someone, it's all self-contained. All they need is a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and used to you had to have an ethernet cable. But now on the Pi 4, it's standard to come with um, built-in Wi-Fi. So that's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. To don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.